Fire investigators are all, already trying to figure out the cause. And sources are telling the I-team, though, they do have some strong leads. WBZ's chief investigator, Cheryl Fiandaka, joins us now with more on that. Cheryl? Well, Lisa, sources tell the I-team at this point it appears the cause of the fire is not criminal. The I-team has also learned that investigators are focusing on the possibility that the fire is linked to an electrical issue or a space heater that may have been used in a second-floor bedroom. In frigid temperatures, investigators spent hours combing through the rubble at 7 Stockholm Street, painstakingly looking for clues that could help point to the cause of the deadly blaze that took the life of one of their own. Sources say so far, it appears the fire was not intentionally set. And fire investigators are looking into accidental causes, focusing on the building's electric system and the use of a space heater. The I-team reviewed city records for the three-story home and found several violations dating back to 2016 that included complaints of no heat and no smoke alarms. It appears those violations were corrected. In 2016, the city also found an illegal basement apartment during the course of its inspection. Records show that case was still open as of last week. And sources say the investigation is being somewhat hampered by the frozen water inside the home, making it difficult to get a good look at the electrical system. A review of calls for service to the property shows in the last four years, there were eight calls to the fire department. Lisa? Cheryl, thank you.